This is the Farms.com Soybean Report brought to you by Dow Seeds. Dow Seeds, leaders in customer-first technology. Hi, I'm Holly Lucas with Dow Seeds. I'm a customer agronomist. Um, we're out here in the spring and we're going to talk about five key factors that you can do at planting to maximize your yield at harvest. So um, first of all, um, I've got some seed here with me and uh, you guys are all familiar with soybeans. Um, they're small and, and tiny and we've stored them over the winter at 15% moisture. So what's important to remember when you're um, thinking about planting is that you have to get this seed that's been dried and it's been stored in coolness and, and it's in that kind of resting state over the winter. We have to get this to germinate and grow into a full plant. Um, and this plant, this seed will actually grow from um, your little seed into an entire plant and that's going to, at planting, that represents about 80% of your yield in the fall is what you do with this seed and get it into the ground and get it germinated and get it growing. So planting is critical. Um, we're going to talk about five key factors as to why it's, uh, why it's important and five key ways that you can get the most out of your seed. First of all, as I said, it's dry. We have 15% moisture over the winter. And so for it to germinate, it has to get to 50% moisture. Um, and you know, think about it in, in easier terms, 50% um, of this seed's weight is about the size of a medium-sized raindrop. So um, it's not a lot of water that it takes to get the seed going, but um, once it gets going, and there's a lot of processes going on, the cells are dividing and growing, and, um, and that seedling is starting to grow and, germin and, and um, elongate through the soil, and that takes a lot of water and a lot of nutrients and stuff. So there's a lot of key processes that go on as soon as you plant this. Um, and I think most critical is getting enough moisture into it that you're going to get it to germinate and grow. So um, once you get, uh, once you, you know um, that you've got adequate levels of moisture, you don't want to plant too wet, you don't want to plant too dry, um, but once your moisture is good, the other thing that's critical for seed germination is um, is, seed, is uh, temperature of the soil when you put the seed in. So um, a soybean seed, what it, the temperature it likes, the temperature that optimal germination is at 25 degrees Celsius or 77 Fahrenheit. Um, but if we waited for that, um, you'd lose a lot of yield just by waiting too long. Um, so you can actually plant a soybean seed. The minimum temperature is 10 degrees Celsius or 50 degrees Fahrenheit. You can plant the seed into the ground and it'll germinate at those temperatures. Obviously, the warmer you plant it, the quicker it's going to germinate and the quicker it's going to come out of the ground. But that's kind of your window in there that you could start once your soil temperature reaches is 10 degrees. Um, and then what you have to remember is that um, it's better to plant at cool um, temperatures and then have it warm up over the next few days than planting on a warm day and having it cool down, especially below that 10 degrees. You really, once you get it in the ground, you don't want it to drop down below that 10 degrees Celsius. Um, so temperature is important. Getting enough moisture in there is important. Um, and then once you've got, once you've got those conditions, um, your planting depth is also really important. Um, these soybean seeds, they're, they're dicots. So what that means is it's got two cotyledons, not not just a biological term, but what it means for that little seed is that you can think about it like it's all curled up in the seed and as it grows it uncurls into um, and the two little cotyledons come out and as it gets above the soil surface that's when they open. But that seed, that little tiny seed has to push those cotyledons up through the soil. So you really want your soil to be loose enough that it's easy for that seed to push through um, and you don't want it to be compacted or anything on top once you've planted. So um, the optimal depth for planting a soybean is an inch to an inch and a half. Um, if you're on lighter soils, you can plant um, definitely at that inch and a half depth or even a little deeper because you've got loose soil and the seed can get out easier. And if you're on the heavier soils, um, you can plant a little shallower because there's enough soil there that's going to hold the plant in place. Um, the main thing with planting depth is you want to give that plant a good sturdy base to grow out of so it's not going to fall over late in the season. Uh, so once you've got your, your planting depth determined, you know how deep you're going to plant. Um, um, your seed to soil contact is the last thing that's really important um, and what you want and basically what that what that is is that you want your seed your soil to be all around that seed because this has a hard seed coat you guys all know that and when it's absorbing water it needs to have the water in contact with the seed coat to absorb it so one thing that's important when you're talking about seed to soil contact is that when you take your seed and you put it in the ground um, if it's just sitting there it's only going to absorb water on the bottom surface. So you want to cover it and make sure your planting equipment is covering in that trench so you're getting moist soil all the way around the seed coat. And then what's that going to allow is it's going to allow the seed to absorb water all the way around. It's going to soften the seed coat evenly around the seed and allow that plant to come out easier. 
Um, and then, so that ties into our, the last, the fifth point, which is uh, making sure your planning equipment is calibrated, it's working well. Um, we actually have a whole other video that goes into depth about getting your planter ready for planting. Um, but it's really important to make sure that you get a really good trench, you get good closure over your trench once your seed's planted, and that it's, it's firm, but it's not too hard, because you, you don't want to pack that seed in so tightly that it can't push through the ground. And then basically it, kind of something overall that you can think about when you're planting is any sort of stress that happens to the either the seed while it's um, absorbing the water or while the little seedling is growing through the soil. Any of those stresses, that's a really tiny plant. So a little small stress kind of acts like a big stress on a little tiny plant. Um, and anything you can do to minimize the stress at planting and during germination is actually going to show up in your yield. It seems like it's a really small process, but there's a lot going on. And um, if you can have the conditions optimal at planting, um, you'll definitely see that in the in the combine when you're harvesting in the fall. If you want to uh, some more information on planting or uh, you know, we have several agronomists in, in uh, Ontario and Quebec and Manitoba, and we have some um, of our territory sales reps. Um, we can all come and talk to you about planting, and there's some more information on our website at dowseeds.ca. This has been the Farms.com Soybean Report, brought to you by Dow Seeds. Dow Seeds, leaders in customer-first technology.